Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and today we have a new LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens video for you. It happens to be for level one, a Sultan Jakku free play. We do have a requirement for this one. It does require a gold brick breaker character ability. Uh, in our case, we purchased the Heavy Stormtrooper for 100,000 studs, which should have become unlocked to you after beating one of the story levels. Now, we uh, we do collect a few collectibles. We get all the mini kits. We do find a red brick. We also get a gold brick for getting all the mini kits. And we also find ourselves a couple of vehicle tokens as well for getting those mini kits. So here we are, right where we left off in the Millennium Falcon hub area, right by our Galaxy computer. And I want to make a note too real quick that we do have quick links down below in the video description to help you get to the many kits and red brick collectibles a little quicker. But hey, if you're all ready to go, select a Jakku, a Sultan Jakku, and make sure you choose free play. Now, which character you select for your own is really not important as you do have access to your entire character wheel. In fact, they've even made it so that you can purchase characters while in game. As you might have noticed, we didn't purchase that Stormtrooper yet, and we will later. But hey, we'll get to that in a little bit. We're going to start off by actually getting a mini kit as soon as we begin. Now, you might have noticed I smashed and rebuilt a barrel right in front of us and right above us from the start. Those actually turn into barrels that the locals can hide in. Now, the third one is just beyond the little circle or the fire pit. And once you get all three, booyakashow, the mini kit will be yours. Now, there are a couple of collectible type mini kits where you have to do multiple things. That was one of them. Here is the next one. Right above where we spawn, switch to BB-8 and go ahead and find the what looked to be like bowling pins here. We went ahead and used our shock from BB-8 to go ahead and take those pins out. And it actually gave us one of three up above. So we're going to go ahead and move just below where we started. And this will need the help of another character that has the building ability. But we're going to go ahead and smash and build up some bricks just below where we started to the left and build up a basketball hoop. Now we have to go just a little bit further down and smash another pile of bricks, which gives us what appear to be multi-build bricks, but it turns out it's just a BB-8 rotary control. And we're going to go ahead and spin to win and watch this. Ba boing We get our bounce on all the way up and through the hoop. He shoots, he scores! All right, two of three done. We're going to move all the way over to the far right side of the area. You're going to see this fence that kind of blocks off most of it in a soccer goal. But we need to actually find a soccer ball to blast through that goal. So as you might have guessed, do a butt slam in the area and rebuild the bricks into a... Ooh, look at this. The yellow zone is for balancing only. That's right. It's a little power shock terminal. We're going to charge it up with BB-8. And look at this. Get your blast on. It's a goal! Once all three of those sports references have been accomplished, you will get that mini kit. Now, just to the left of where we were, there is this little kind of cubby area here. We're going to smash everything in the middle and check this out. It's a multi-build. It's a weird, I'm not sure what it is. It's like a little uh, stormtrooper doll that we're building up. It's kind of a makeshift store. And as soon as you build it up, the local goes pew pew and shoots it down. Once you repeat that process of the lower and upper dolls, it will actually give us that red brick. So looks like the red brick for fast build, too, if our guide information is correct. And if it's not, you can blame Dougie. <laughs> All right. So now we're back to some story elements. This would be one of those times where, well, actually, we're not. We actually have to go ahead and build up the right side house here. Now, you probably remember this from the story video we put out. This is one of the tasks that you do have to accomplish to move along in the story. And uh, there's also a crane in the back. We'll get to that in a minute. But inside, there are a couple of boxes you can smash and grab. Some on the front side and some on the back side of the room. Now, the back side of the room bricks give you what's needed for the story. The front side actually give you the bricks needed to build mini kit number three. So we've got all of the mini kits in this first section, including the red brick, too. Which means we can complete all of the rest of the story elements and go ahead and progress to the next area, which is crazy. Let me tell you, it's the way it's broken down and the way we do it. It might seem a little confusing, but we'll try to explain it as we go, and hopefully uh, you won't have to do too much backtracking. But as you guys know, we like to get mini kits all 
uh, in a row. So, like, we try not to break things up. Like, for example, there was those three sports references. We try not to go, you know, one sports reference and then another mini kit and then another sports reference and the red brick and then the third. We try to get all those references all in one swoop so we can just get them and get them out of the way. So later there is another collectible where we have to take out three silver towers. We have to go through a blaster battle, and it's actually kind of lengthy, if I'm being honest. It's one of the longer mini kits, but uh, we'll uh, explain some things along the way that we see because there are a couple of mini kits you can get during that but we actually come back for it so speaking of coming back for it uh on the left hand side of the main gazebo where we found that last mini kit there is a giant crane we have to use a grapple hook to go ahead and pull down some bricks that happen to be multi-build bricks we can build them off to the right hand side which gives us a bb8 boinger to bounce up there once we have bb8 up on that platform go ahead and smash and rebuild those multi-bricks and use the crank here to go ahead and spin that platform over to this i guess it's the gazebo roof here and we find an astro mech panel or a shape shift panel where we got to match those shapes and once we get it all charged up it goes ahead and pump 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 up that door look at that we now have access inside the gazebo and uh, we'll get in there in just a second now I was just talking about these silver things that we have to destroy. Here is one of them right here. Although it's not related to the mini kit, this is the actual silver uh, shape that we will need to take out in the next area. So I went ahead and took that out just to kind of give you an idea of what they look like as well as get some studage. Because you know me, got to have them all, got to have them all. Speaking of which, what is this craziness with this Pokemon Go app? Have anybody, anybody out there used it? What do you think? Is that something we should do? Should we make a video or two trying to incorporate Pokemon Go? I'm not a Pokemon fan. My son is. Reese is a big Pokemon fan. I, I just, I missed the bus on that. I'm too old. So, anyhow, let me know down below. Uh, <laughs> kind of feel like maybe there's going to be a Pokemon popping up in here. Everywhere I look. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, e everywhere. YouTube. It's it's Pokemon Go everywhere. The news, even. People are, bodies are being found with this app. I mean, it's craziness. All right, so... Moving along, we have officially raised both of the armories and provided the locals with guns, which actually took us into a cutscene that we have removed. So, as a reminder, in all of our free play videos, we have sped them up a little bit and we've removed out all scenes and parts that are non-pertinent to the information we're trying to give to you. So, once you take out the stormtroopers, go ahead and use your grapple hook on the right-hand side to go ahead and pull the tower down, giving us a much-needed pile of bricks to build up into, you guessed it, another shock panel. And uh, in case you forgot, the yellow zone is for balancing only. And if you've never been to an airport, you probably don't get that joke. But, all right, once you get the charge all good to go, it'll blow out that first set of flames, and all of a sudden we find ourselves in the midst of a blaster battle, and we've also got a new friend on task. we got Dasha, so welcome aboard, Dasha! And, all right, before actually engaging with the blaster battle, we're going to go ahead and suggest that you double back a little bit, and if you have not already taken out the first of three silver towers go ahead and do that now now it, as far as i can tell you are able to come all the way back so if somehow you got engaged in this blaster battle um and you get all the way you i'm pretty sure that you can come back now if you have any information of whether you can or can't please leave that in the video description down below people read the comments and uh, all the time you, you may not realize it but a lot of you who leave comments telling us information actually help out other people that come and look for this information later so you know please by all means if you know something we don't drop us a line down below in the comments and then that'll help us and others in the future too so all right we have made it through the first wave of the blaster battle i believe there was 14 or 15 stormtroopers we needed to take out now this next one instead of stormtroopers we actually have to take out the old trooper uh ship in the back as well as that turret that was blocked by a force field so go ahead and take out the target representing that uh, explosive barrels on the left to go ahead and get rid of the heavy in the force field and Move over to the right side of the area and get your scan on with Dasha or any of the other characters. I know that like Han Solo has the quad binoculars. There's definitely other characters in free play that have the scanner. But scan on the right side of the dropship up there and reveal the weak point. And go ahead and get your pew pew on and take him down. Once he crashes, oh, look at that. We got gold. Which, as you might have remembered, we love gold. All right. New area. Blaster battle is completed. And, uh, yeah, so as far as I know, you should be able to go back and get that first silver tower, silver tower. And if you can't, well, you should be able to start in the second area from the free play select screen. That's always another option, too. So, all right, in the new area, we're going to go ahead and use the grapple hook to go ahead and rip down some multi-build bricks and build up this BB-8 rotary panel, which actually uses a, some sort of, like, a... 
uh, what should I call it? A winch to go ahead and pull down that tower. Now there is a mini kit, as you can see. I got the Luke Skywalker icon popping up right there. We need the force to go ahead and pop the lid off of that water tower. But we are going to come back for that once we get the other two silver towers, which you can see are right there on the top right of your screen. We're getting really close. Uh, we have used a grapple point to go ahead and give us some bricks to build up into this astromech panel here. Or maybe it just revealed. I don't think we had to build anything. I think it just revealed the astromech panel. And uh, meanwhile, we got a few stormtroopers shooting us from behind. So go ahead and get those guys out of our way. And the ship takes off and actually kind of clears a path. But oh no, look out ahead. There's a flamethrower. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, that looks hot. And we'll stay away from that for now. And we can actually do a butt slam or destroy the boxes on the right side in between the silver towers. And it gives us some multi-build bricks. Now, it does not matter which one you build, the right or left. It, either one actually distracts the stormtroopers. And they come out, as you can see, I got a little popcorn box there. And they flamed up the popcorn. And now it's popping like crazy. It's a little... Little Orville Redenbacher's popping, and uh, check it out. We have blasted both of the silver statues on the right. Well, they are all distracted by the popping popcorn, and we got that mini kit. So, uh, woo to the hoo! Now we can go back and get some of the stuff we missed. Now, first off, as you can see, I'm kind of targeting this guy up in this like uh, house or dwelling, whatever you want to call it up there. And that's because in one of the first sections of the blaster battle, there is a guy standing inside a doorway. And if you pow him right in the kissa with a laser beam, he runs inside and shoots out a mini kit. So don't, don't mind the guy with his head in the sand there. Shoot the guy up behind there. As you can see, we nailed him and he gave us that mini kit. So thank you very much. Now, moving along back through where kind of where the blaster battle took place, it's actually right through the second spot. Remember where I said the Luke Skywalker icon popped up? We needed the force. Well, there's that water tower again. We're going to go ahead and shake it up. Ooh, ooh. And look at that. We've got some bricks here that will go ahead and build up into a mini kit. So just that we have six mini kits in the bag. And oh, there's another one right there in the front left side of your screen at that ship. But we're going to go and kind of do these in a backwards order here because we're the backwards man, the backwards man. Check it out. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I asked before somebody to go ahead and tell me if they thought they knew what movie the backwards man was from. And a couple of people said Cars. And uh, there was a couple of other suggestions, too, that may or may not have had some sort of a backwards man reference. But that's not the movie I was looking for. I'll give you a hint. A very popular Canadian actor who is not very popular anymore. His first name is Tom. His last name is a color. I'll give you that much. But uh, all right, uh, he was in the movie. And as I could go ahead and pull out a strong character and rip open those strength handles, which actually just gave us access to a mini kit. But uh, yeah, if you think you know the answer to that movie, think about it. Canadian actor. First name is Tom. Last name is a color. Yeah, that's probably a no-brainer. <laughs> Anyhow, we've made it inside this dive pool with Admiral Akbar, and inside this dive pool we have found a resistance terminal. I believe that's what these are called. It's one of those shape-matching panels. It's kind of like memory, if you remember that old card game that you had to play. Match up the shapes and watch the little medicine cabinet open up and reveal. So we'll go ahead and grab that and any duds in the area before using the dive pool yet again to get back on through to the other side. All right, remember I told you in the front left corner there was a ship that we were going to... Guess what? It's time. We're going to go ahead and build the bricks up there on the ground. Now, in your case, those bricks might not be on the ground. You might have to slam a, a box or two to go ahead and get that, but balance in that yellow zone and once you get it completed it'll open up the back hatch of that drop ship and look at that booyaka shao mini kit number nine is officially ours leaving only one collectible left and let's go ahead and take that one on now so as you might remember we talked about needing a gold brick breaker and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the stormtrooper heavy and it actually only costs us a hundred thousand studs to go ahead and buy that so go ahead and unlock him right there and uh, well as it turns out I thought we actually showed us purchasing him in the menu right there but uh, we had a little bit of confusion and we had to edit some stuff out it looks like that missed the final cut so you can purchase him right from your character select wheel in game which is nice and if you don't have a hundred thousand studs you know there's lots of studs floating around including some blues and some purples so uh, make sure that you uh, have your red brick stud multipliers turned on and try to grab as many as possible now last but not least we have found some multi bricks we're going to go ahead and use them to build the left hand side which will complete the hose and allow us to jump on that pressure sensitive switch and fill up this water tank in the back once the water tank is done go ahead and do a butt slam and build it into a rotary panel which bba can switch over to the far right last but not least as you can see i'm way behind we're gonna go ahead and balance in that yellow zone after we 
build up the far right multi build, which gives us the make it rain ability. And we rain down on the water, rain down on the water, rain down on the fire with the water and complete the level. So Assault on Jakku free play is now complete. And uh, well, we had one gold brick for completing the level, but we'll go ahead and add one more for getting that true Jedi requirement of 80,000 studs. We'll also check off that fast build red brick because we grabbed that early in the level. And what's it building? What's it building? What you got? What you got? I love that it shows us what we got because it gives us vehicle tokens that are related to these mini kit builds. So looks like it's the first order transporter and we also get the micro fighter too. So take a quick peek to see where we are in collectibles, see if they match with you, assume and you've been following us and uh oh you know what this screen means that's gonna wrap it up for lego star wars the force awakens level one assault on jakku free play yes we grabbed those mini kits and that red brick and we're ready to move on so hey uh we appreciate you guys watching this hopefully you guys found this video entertaining and maybe a little bit helpful head on over to facebook twitter or simply comment vote subscribe down below if you like what we're doing over here and of course happy thumbs Gaming.com is available for your viewing pleasure, too. Now, uh, hey, shout out to uh, Milton. You guys never cease to amaze us. Milton is one of our viewers who actually wrote us a special email thanking us for our time. Took a long time to do it, too. I appreciate the kind words. He also offered to send us his pre-order bonus from GameStop for LEGO. That's amazing. Like, I, I, we don't expect any of this stuff. And you guys totally come through and surprise us all the time. So, big shout out to Milton. Thanks for your support. Thanks for all your guys' support. And, uh, hey... As for me, that's going to do it for now. I'm blushing, so I better get out of here before I'm too embarrassed. As always, until next time. <laughs>